It's Amanchu. Welcome to Divergent Season 2. I and nine of my friends have come together for the first time in a brand new world that none of us have ever seen before. And we'll try to explore it and see what we can make starting from nothing. Now in this first video I'm having some trouble with my skin and I just appear as Steve. Although other people on this SMP seem to be nothing but skin in this first video. Whoever's all the way to the right, which looks like uh, a Manchu, can start. Season three, season two, season two. Yeah, it's a Manchu. Welcome to season two of Divergence SMP. Uh, can anybody see? Do I look like Steve right now? Yeah, you look, yeah. Steve to me. Oh, man. you look like Steve to I me. I don't know what's going on with that. My, just kind Who's of next to a Manchu? All right, it's me. I'm Digging Truths, and I'm really scared because I spawned what? in naked. I don't know where my clothes are. Why didn't Digging spawn as a Steve? Come oh. on. <laughs> oh, I have to avert my eyes. Me. <laughs> it's I'm going to blur you off my video. <laughs> but Silly, on the other hand, is wearing Speedos. Who's that? Is that you next to Digging? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm wearing clothes. Look at him. He's so buff. <laughs> He's got pants on. <laughs> He's got pants. And then next to me up here, on we have CP Technicraft. And on his head is who is that? Cat I'm Cat Beanie, and welcome to Divergence Season Two. Woohoo! Oh, all right. Since I'm standing next to them. I am Major Madden, and this is my beautiful wife with the blue hair. Her cue to say something. <laughs> Hi, I'm Bad Rabbit. Ooh. Here's a flower. Hopefully, in Season Two of Divergence, we're going to have a few more collaborations than in the past. But to start with, everybody kind of scatters in different directions. Just going to explore this new world we've never seen. How are you? Darn llamas! Come back if my dead today and I'm gonna... Spin at me, will you? I decide to murder some llamas. I have trauma from my super flat world. If you see my series on super flat survival challenge, you understand my problem with llamas. Darn llamas! Spin at me, will you? Fighting animals. Oh, but yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of jungle in the world spawn, and Keep I found a parrot to make my friend a decision I would regret later. That would be... Will this parrot be my friend? Oh, wow. I have a parrot. <laughs> I mean, sure, parrots are cute, and they have this neat little dancing animation when you play a music disc near them. But they're not something that you want to take exploring with you because they imitate the sounds of various mobs that are nearby, like within 20 blocks nearby. And sometimes they'll imitate the sounds of mobs that aren't even nearby. Kind of gets on your nerves after a while. I'm gonna die! I'm so gonna die again! Run away! Hey, it's a blackie! Uh, oh no, you burned to death! <laughs> Ooh! I just found a jungle temple! I never find those damn things! Oh, hey, you didn't find one earlier. I would, I would build my house off of that, like extend it. They are so hard to find. Ooh, it's dark and spooky in here. Oh my god, there's two tridents. Oh, two trident boys! Negative. Oh my god! No, and Diggin <laughs> was killed! Diggin Truth continues to find ways to die, and, well... Uh... She's not gonna be the only one. Almost well, all of us die in this first strange. session. Want to make After a bit of exploring, I find the spot I want for my base camp. It's on a mountain in the middle of a jungle. It may not look like much now, but after a bit of deforestation and a little bit of landscaping, I have grandiose plans for this area. Hey, Major, if you look to your north, do you see on the hill a big pillar of dirt? Um, to my north? Yeah. Yay, I have a burb! Uh, it sets that way, so north is... Yes, I do! <laughs> on top of that hill where all the jungle trees are? Yeah, that's where I'm going to be See a thing sticking up. Ah, okay. I can see your house from there. <laughs> cool. With my base camp established, I get tired of cutting down trees and decide to explore a nearby cave. Maybe not the wisest decision in hindsight. Ooh, I probably like should set up a ground. Oh man! 
How did you survive that explosion? I just hit, oh, I Stupid zombie. I was I was like, Seriously, uh, Mr. Cow, just give me a second so that I can make you um, a pen. Oh god. And then you can just it's a zombie it. spider jockey! Uh oh. Are you in a cave by any chance? I may not be for long. I'm down to half a heart. Oh, I survived. Wow. Run but I think, safety. I think discretion is the better part of Valor. I better get the heck out of here. Have you got ear, a swamp? Ear, ear, no, 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 no. I'm going to be dead. Oh, no. First oh. Death. oh, no. My spot, so. I don't, oh. I don't know about. oh, this early in the game, caving in Minecraft is really dangerous. You really should avoid it. So I decided to collect resources by branch mining instead of going into big caves. I'm gonna die. Yep, I died. No! no. Oh, 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 oh. oh, baby. Oh, 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 oh. There we that go. That sounded interesting. Not not what you find. Guess what I found? I oh, found a diamond. A single a diamond. diamond. Just as I find the first diamond in the realm, well, that parrot that I ditched earlier showed up on my shoulder again somehow and started immediately making noises from cave mobs. That was me with the last seed. Why do I have the idea of getting a parrot, friend? You have a parrot? Are we gonna yeah, get parrots? But I don't I have want a parrot. it. No. I have oh no! How dare you! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but I can only take so much of that. The parrot had to go. Remember how I said caving this early in the game is dangerous and you shouldn't go caving? Just branch mine to get the stuff you want? Well, I decided to go caving anyway. But check out this view! In fact, I had done the, uh, the, the 512 marker first. Oh no! Oh no! Already? <laughs> oh. Check the chat and see how, if has everyone died now. Not me. Uh, Machu has not died, and Xavier has not died. Who yeah, marked their died. area in the savanna? Oh, wow. What was that, Willis? Did you throw something at me? I did. Amanda, will you stop finding cool stuff? <laughs> I found a wow. huge lava ocean. Ooh. Uh, Madge. <laughs> I gotta get a screenshot of that one. I gotta remember that I am now in bedrock edition. I don't have to time my swings. Oh yeah, no, no spam Java attack hit. things. Do you have to do any Java hit? Java hit. Bullshit. <laughs> ah. Anyways, I, I've accomplished what I wanted to accomplish. Well, I walked into that one. Oh. That was it. Well, there's my first death on the SMP out of the way. I am not going back to that cave a long time. Thank you very much. And while I was off branch mining, someone visited my base camp and left me some helpful signs. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm not sure who did that, it might have been Jarden. Yes, this is H2O. Very good. Thank you. <laughs> That's very informative of them. <laughs> it's a big, dangerous open cave. I died trying to light it up. I have no armor. I think I'll stay away from this for now. That's just too dangerous. Let's find a different direction. Branch mining. Branch mining safe. It's boring, but it's safe. Mining for diamonds is unusual for me. I don't usually bother to do that. I'd rather get all the things I need that are made with diamonds from villagers. But I'm not sure how long it's going to be before I have access to villagers, so... I figured I'd better get some diamonds for a little bit of armor and some other gear. But while we were Spanish mining, I found something even better than diamonds. I found an iron ore vein. I haven't seen one of those in a long time, and they have massive amounts of iron ore in them. Is this an iron ore vein? It is! Oh, baby! Oh, we're mining the hell out of this. Twenty minutes later. There comes a point when I have to ask myself, do I really need more iron? <laughs> do I really need more? 
I have like two and a half stacks of iron now. I may be done mining forever on this server. That may be it. All the mining I need to do. Seriously. I know the game's called Minecraft, but I like to be able to make farms to get the stuff I want without having to mine for them. And now that I have that much iron, enough diamonds to get me started, I don't think I need to mine anymore. Bid? Uh, behind? Uh, yeah, I got a in. I have no idea what that sign is. <laughs> B-I-H-D. Okay, this one I get, but I don't, what was that other one? I, I have no idea. Put away the stuff, put away the stuff, put away the stuff. Put the stuff away, putting away the stuff, putting away the stuff. Stuff is put away. There's monsters nearby? Oh my god, there's... Oh crap. Oh shoot. No, 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 no. Oh my god, there's zombies everywhere. It's a horde. Just when I'm about ready to call it a day, I get attacked by a horde of zombies and realize I probably ought to secure my base camp a little better before I sign out. So I spend the next 20 minutes putting some fences up and making sure I'm secure from mobs that might show up in the night. Now on day two on the server, I'm ready to go to the nether for the first time to gather some resources there. In fact, there's some resources I got in the nether that are going to be essential for the build of my base. What is that resource? Well, the answer might surprise you, and I'll let you know in the next video. Leave a comment below if you think you know what the answer is of the material that I needed to get from the nether that was essential for the build of my base. Well, that was fun. I just went to the nether for the first time, and there was a fire right by my portal, so I took damage before I could render terrain. At least I didn't die. Did you go through spawn? No. No, oh, however, there is a fortress <laughs> right below me. That's pretty cool. Yep. But also horrifying. That's not all. Oh! Ooh, what? Uh, I see a bastion remnant over here. Mm-hmm. There you go. Looks like... Oh, that's a bridge bastion. Okay. I don't even know what the seed is for this realm, at least not yet. But I do know that Crack Magnet played a part in choosing the seed. I can't say the overworld is that spectacular, but it's impressive to see a Bastion Remnant butting up right against another fortress. Pretty near world spawn. Kind of cool. Oh, again? Oh. Really? Yeah, you shit together, seriously. <laughs> Need to think they don't like me. Think? Has anybody raided this bastion yet? Uh, not me. Because I don't want to be the first. Why not? There's brutes in there and they're scary. Okay, alright. <laughs> I, thought, I thought it was because you, you didn't want to take it away from somebody else. And I was just about to say, I'm pretty sure nobody else wants to do it. No, I don't either. I was actually able to tunnel straight through the bottom of a bastion remnant, collecting some blackstone in the process, and right into the nether fortress structure and tunnel up through the nether fortress structure to one of the hallways inside, blocking off the tunnels for safety purposes. But before I do any more exploring... I remember that was on bedrock. Why so many blazes? Oh my gosh. If anybody can do it, you can do it eventually. Oh, is it half a heart again? Half a heart. <laughs> <laughs> really would like to have some fire resistance potions so that I don't have to worry about the blazes. So I go back bartering with piglins for a little while. And the portal is lit. Did you just say music? Oh, we found another upgrade template. There we go. So I do a bunch of bartering with piglins. I get some fire resistant potions and then head back to the nether fortress to explore it a little more thoroughly. Oh my gosh. They had to be there, didn't they? 
Oh, that's not pleasant. I'm gonna call shenanigans on that one. I closed off the area at the top of the stairs so the withers couldn't get at me, but two withers happened to spawn in right at the top of the stairs. Two withers. Not fair. There's all my stuff exploded all over. Shite. Yeah, that little box that I was in. All my stuff's in it. I've got, I've got some gold boots, a helmet. I'm trying to find some nether work. Ooh, I got a skeleton skull. Sweet. Can I have a torch? Oh, and I'm about to die. Put it in a box, dig a hole. <laughs> Well, I successfully found some nether wart, collected a little bit of that, and my plan was to then oh, find a, spawner, a blaze spawner and just, with the effect of the I'm fire resistance right potion, just park myself in front of the spawner and farm a lot of blazes until I had, like, a stack of blaze rods. <laughs> Unfortunately, there was a bridge of death between me and a blaze spawner that was just swarming with wither skeletons and other hostile things, so I wasn't able to get to it. Cat Beanie got to a blaze spawner and did collect a bunch of blaze rods, but didn't get into any other part of the fortress to get another warp. So we agreed to an exchange later. Hi. Oh, hi. All my nether warts over there. Ching. There you go. Yay. Well, there's definitely something weird going on with my skin still. I, I don't know what the problem is, but hopefully I can resolve that uh, for next time. This is my base camp here up on this mountain. I've been gathering a lot of materials for my base build. And uh, yeah, I need a lot of scaffolding for it. <laughs> I'll just leave it at that. Hopefully next time I can have that. But before I do that, I want to do a little bit more exploration around here see what's in the area around here, and look for a few more materials that I'd like to use in my base build, if I could find them. You know, something I've come to learn about Minecraft, there was a time when I would start a new world, wander around in it for about 10 minutes, decide I didn't like the biomes or the terrain, and then delete it and start a new world. And I might do that over and over and over again, for like four hours straight trying to find just the right world with just the right biomes. But eventually I resolved that I was going to start a new world and no matter what the terrain was, no matter what biome I spawned into, just work with what I'm given and see what I can do with it. It's kind of a challenge. You know, maybe you don't get the terrain you would consider ideal for building your starter base right off the bat, and you think there's no choice but to do massive amounts of terraforming. On the other hand, maybe you could try to make your build conform to the terrain that's there. I kind of like all these hills and valleys. Don't have to have everything super flat in order to build your perfect starter base and make the terrain super flat. Not necessary. So I've built bases before in snowy, Plains, in Taiga, and even in an ocean underwater. I remember in uh, my earliest videos when I made a base in Java Edition in a plains biome, and I experimented with a whole bunch of different uh, build designs, and what I ended up with was something that looked kind of eclectic, inconsistent. All the buildings were different from each other, and it, I don't know, I didn't find it very visually appealing. Anymore, I try to make a build that just makes sense with the terrain around it and fits with the other builds I have around it. So I'm trying to say you're not going to catch me anymore trying to make a industrial stone brick building and place next to it a mushroom house. But the build I have in mind for my base, well, it's going to be something different from anything I've ever done in a regular survival world before. I would say it's quite ambitious. I'm a little nervous of whether I could pull it off even. I guess we'll see. 
Ah, okay, I see what... I think I see that that is. Is that some kind of framing that somebody put up? Or this is where I'm building a building? Holy crap. That's a lot of bamboo. <laughs> That's a crap load of bamboo. See, this is what I'm talking about. He looks like he's going to make a build that's making use of the materials in the biome that he settled in. So there's a bamboo forest here, and he's building something with bamboo. There's a cave over there. I wonder if it has what I need inside. I'm looking for a dripstone cave or a lush cave. And this is neither. <laughs> Never mind. That's a cool looking cave, but it's not a dripstone cave. Sad. That makes me sad that it's not dripstone. Okay. How did I let that creeper sneak up on me? Oh my gosh. I may need to uh, head back. I'm disappointed I was not able to find a dripstone cave. Find a lush cave. One hour later. I am shocked I can't find any freaking lush caves. More pointed dripstone caves. <gasps> Never mind! That is totally a lush cave! Oh my god, I found one. I'm gonna head down there, grab a piece of moss, and a piece of glowberry, and try not to get killed by all the mobs down here. Grab a glowberry. Grab a couple pieces of glowberry. Grab a piece of moss. Yes. Yep, I can see my house from here. I took a long journey today. I traveled, man, it must have been like 6,000 blocks. Came back with a lot of things, including some of the stuff I was looking for. But lots of plans for future things on this SMP, and I'm looking forward to it, including some collaborations with some of the other people on this SMP. And let's see how much progress I can make on my home base next time on Amon Chooses Divergence SMP.